Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I like to talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemediaorg. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right, uh, man, I can't even hide what this is. Uh, Kyosho went and did it again. Let's check it out. All right, so you can clearly see right there, this is a Kyosho uh, Phaser MK2. But uh, that's not what's exciting about this at all. What's exciting is the body that they chose to put on it, which is a 1977 Datsun 240Z. And man, I'm a sucker for my classic Japanese cars. I love them. And uh, Kyosho continues to do this, man. Um, one good thing about the phaser line is um, it's mostly brushed, so they're pretty affordable as far as uh, as far as RC cars are concerned. Um, with the majority of them coming in under three hundred dollars, so a few of their of their cars they uh, upgraded to the VE, the brushless versions. So those of course cost a little bit more, but most of the most of the phaser line is brushed like this one here. And so, um, you know, it comes in at a, at a very reasonable price point for what it is. But anyways, let's get it out of the box. Very carefully. Now, um, I meant to say this before I got started. Uh, I've had this in my possession for a couple weeks. Um, I've been waiting for a nice clear day on a weekend uh, to record some shots of me driving this thing around on my street. But we have been having, uh, you know, consecutive thunderstorms here in Southern California. Pretty gnarly ones too, as a matter of fact, for this area. And so, uh, so this is only going to be an unboxing and a first impressions video. And you know, I'll get an, I'll get some nice good close-ups. Um, and later on, I'll, I'll release uh, a short of me driving it around uh, in front of my house because uh, I got tired of waiting. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to rain today, and, it, and not only did it rain, it snowed where I work in La Habra. Yeah, snow, like actual snow. And so um, I gave up waiting for a dry day. Um, just going to go ahead and get it unboxed and have a look at it and be happy. So like other cars in this line, they use a fair amount of straps to hold it in. Not a problem. Let's get this guy out of the way. You tape down. Man, they put tape everywhere on this thing. Oh, that was actually just holding it together. All right. So this should be the radio. And the accessories. So standard uh, synchro radio. They, they give you this with all of their phaser cars. Uh, it's a good radio. I haven't had any issues with it. And then they usually give you this uh, accessory pack. It's got some rotors that you can put on and a multi-tool. Looks like a couple extra body clips and a couple extra fasteners. So that's always nice of them. But you guys aren't here for that. <laughs> You're here for this. Out with you. There we go. All right. Oh, we don't want that. Ooh. 
Right, she's free. Oh man, there it is. What a beauty. So, um, <clears throat> Uh, if you guys are fans of the YouTube channel Mighty Car Mods, uh, that show gave me a new appreciation for the 240Z um, as they, they built one on that show. Uh, looks a lot like this one. It's white with black wheels. And it just gave me a new appreciation for this vehicle. But yeah, it gave me a new appreciation for the, uh, for the 240Z. And man, it's just a, a very classic look. I like it a little more than the skyline that you see behind me there. If you didn't watch my unboxing video of that guy, uh, please go check that out. Uh, it's on the same platform as this, but oh man, there she is in all her glory. So uh, true to Kyosho's way, um, they do a great job with the detail on their bodies. And it's just second to none, man. It's top notch. Ooh. And they also use these uh, protectors. The Quiet, you. Um, they also use these clear protectors for the, uh, uh, for the body clips. And it makes them really hard to get the body clips off for the first time. Kyosho. I always want to air my grievances with them every time I do one of their cars about how difficult it is oh, to get these off the first time with these little protectors on there. I appreciate that they want to protect the body and, you know, keep it pristine for you, but goodness, it just makes it very difficult. That one was pretty easy, actually, of course, because I'm talking smack about it. Yep, the front two were simple after I vented. Oh well. <laughs> and up we go. So uh, we'll check out this body first. This is the star of the show by far, of course. Um, it has uh, molded uh, rear view mirrors and they're held on by body clips. And it has front and rear light buckets. So you can install some LED lights in those guys. Um, it also has molded uh, uh, molded windshield wipers that are also uh, held on by body clips. And then a molded spoiler that looks like it is screwed on. So the spoiler on the back is screwed on. It's not held on by body clips. Um, it has a molded chrome bumper, front and rear the rear there's the front um, the grill is just a sticker but I mean it looks really good even for a sticker and then the uh, the lower uh, and then the uh, the front spoiler here is uh, molded onto the body it's just painted a different color but man uh, they backed it with the silver so that white that white looks really nice, man. And then, of course, uh, uh, the, just like they did with the with the Nissan with the Skyline, um, they didn't paint the windows. The windows are just tinted, but they're see-through. And I really like that. That's that's a that's a nice touch. I wish more uh, manufacturers would do that. Uh, some other details on the body: you have a sticker on each side that says 240Z. And then you have uh, door handle stickers. Uh, these fender molds are, oh, they are not. I thought they were molded into the body. They are not, they are fastened down with screws. So this is a replaceable, uh, a replaceable part, these fender molds. So that's very nice. Good to know. And then uh, on the lower fender here, it says Dotson. And then you have a sticker on this side for the gas cap. And then on the spoiler on the back, you have a, a Datsun 240Z sticker. I'll get close-ups of all this stuff. And then the uh, license plate, it's a California plate. I appreciate that. And it's a 
KYO240Z. So, Kyosho240Z. Yeah, I dig it. Oh, it also has, are those light buckets too? Oh, they are. Oh, that's cool. So it actually has four light buckets in the front. Uh, it has two down here for the indicators. <laughs> that's cool. And then uh, the side markers up here are just a sticker, which is fine. I mean, but that's a nice surprise. I didn't notice that that you, the front actually has four light buckets. So keep that in mind if you're buying uh, LEDs for this. Uh, you want to make sure you buy enough because the front has has four. The rear is four also. Yep. Yeah, you can put four LEDs in the rear as well. So nice. I like that. Um, as far as the electronics go, I mean, it's a phaser. There's uh, there's not much to say about it. You have this uh, the G14L uh, brushed motor, uh, brushed ESC. I mean, if you're not familiar with the phaser line by now, I'm not gonna do it any justice by uh, by going through all the techno babble here. You can find better you know better info on it on another channel. But the uh, the ESC comes with a Dean's connector. And it has pretty good, uh, pretty good room for battery. Um, these are advertised to be meant for 2S, but I run them with 3S and they take it just fine. And it, it adds a fair amount of pep. And so I, I like to run these on, on 3S. I haven't had an issue with it yet. Um, besides that, it looks like it has the same exact wheels as the Skyline. Uh, which is not a bad thing. I like the wheels on the Skyline. But, um, yeah, other than that, I don't see any other any other differences. Standard phaser. Good looking car. Uh, really, the only issue that I've ever had with uh, Kyosho, um, as far as like the phaser line is concerned, is my Madvan VE had an issue with uh, eating diffs, man. I went through three of them. And I finally bought the... the what is it? The, they call it the part number has HD. It's a heavy duty. Um, I finally broke down and spent extra money. The, so the first ones, uh, so the first two that it ate, uh, I, I claimed under warranty and they sent me replacements, which was fine. But then it, it went through another one. And so I broke down and I paid for the heavy duty diff, uh, two of them. I put two heavy duty diffs in there um, grease the hell out of them, and I have not had an issue since. But that's the only problem, really, that I've had with the phaser line. And I just think it's, you know, they didn't beef it up enough to handle the brushless electronics, is, is my guess. Um, other than that, it's a solid line. Uh, my, my Skyline hasn't given me any issues, so I don't see this having any problems. But if I do have any issues with it, of course, I'll report back. And like I said, unfortunately, because of the weather, everything's soaked outside. So um, no footage of me driving the car today, but um, uh, so no footage of me driving the car in this video, but I will post a short later on uh, when the weather is better of me driving this guy around. But anyways, uh, for now, let's go ahead and get some close-ups of this beauty, shall we?
All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that hungry algorithm. I hope you have a great afternoon, and like always, thank you for watching.